Hey guys, Ali here, and welcome to another Ali Chat Wednesday, the last one of this year. I know I don't do a lot of these, but this video is actually going to be very serious, so let me take my hood off, because A, it's hot, and two, it's a serious video. I need to be 100% with this video, because I know if the title says it's a New Year's resolution video, and it is, essentially, but... We're going to go on a more serious side of that. I have two New Year resolutions that I am doing for 2016. And here's why. First off, 2016 is going to be a big year for me. I turned 17 in a few months, meaning that I'm one more year, technically one more year, a child. I'm getting my license, hopefully in February. I start my senior year of high school in the fall, and I'm very much still a child. I mean, I have stuffed animals over here in my closet. I have toys and books and pictures of kids' stuff and all that in my room. I mean, I have a Pikachu on my desk. I have a panda on my desk. I have a Hulk thing that you can't see, but I have a Hulk mug, I actually have two. Besides the point, <laughs> I need to start getting my life together to prepare myself for 2017 when I graduate and start college. So, these two New Year's resolutions I'm going to tell you and then go based off why I'm doing that. I mean, I'm already almost going to be going off and living on my own for four years in college and probably even right after that go back to school for things and basically live as a young adult and I don't know if I'm ready for that but I'm gonna kinda have to be cause I don't have much time left. Basically I already have how I'm gonna handle this coming up school year or the school year coming up after I finish my junior year. I spend the summer in Florida, work on my college apps, visit a college down there, try to visit other colleges here in California, try to visit some in the other few states that I have that I want to go to. And while I'm in Florida, I'm going to be working on my college apps and essays, or at least prep myself for them, as well as prep myself for the SAT and ACT, which sadly they're changing the SAT right before I take them, but... They're making it easier. <sighs> Don't cry. Okay. So, the resolutions I have that I'm going to do coming up are, number one, try not to care what people say. Slash think of me. And I, I know I should kind of have that down, but I'm a teenager. Like all teenagers, I'm going to care what people say think about me or what they don't say and don't think of me because <laughs> what else am I supposed to be thinking of besides the boys and stress overload of homework and boys <laughs> and stress of everything else two main reasons I have to focus on that is one I'm class president and right now I know for a fact that there are a lot of people in my class that don't like me and don't like me being president and I have to deal be okay with that. Um, I know why. It's, I'm not going to go into detail about that, but <laughs> yeah. Second thing I have to deal with that is I post videos on YouTube and I know Right now, there's still positive, like, feedback and stuff just because I don't have too many subscribers. I don't have a lot of likes. I don't have a lot of comments. But there may become a time where someone, just some random person, is going to come along my videos and they're going to say something mean. and Or they're going to go along on my Twitter or Instagram or any social media and they're going to say something mean. And I have to know that I'm going to be okay dealing with that because I'm not going to let myself steep so low again and I have to deal with being okay because in the adult world there's going to be people who don't like you who are going to say what they want to say about you and you have to just deal with that 
Whereas when you're a teen, it's or a child or a minor or whatever, it's easier because you have teachers who some may do something, some may not, or there's just ways to deal with it where adults is basically more like it's your problem, you're an adult, you fix the situation yourself, or just don't care. My second New Year's resolution is another big one, um, and it's to put myself in front of others. Because I know I'm not the only one that does it, but I slash other people have a tendency to deal with other people's problems first before they handle their own. Like, I know if I'm doing homework and a friend texts me saying, oh, I have a problem, and it could be like a homework problem or like actual real life problem that doesn't apply to math or trying to graph this thing. And I will literally put my stuff on hold and go help them. Sometimes I'm filming a video, I'll put that on hold and I'll go check my phone, which I gotta start putting away when I film. <laughs> but, I mean, it's okay if you do put yourself in front of others. But there's gotta be a certain extent because you have to make sure that you're mentally, physically capable of helping other people and not letting yourself get to their point or worse or if you're any worse then how I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite but how can you give someone advice if you aren't willing to do the same thing for you I do it my friends do it it's something we all do and not necessarily fix but minimalize it so you have your crap together in order to help other people get their crap together because if you think about it, there's some people that like, I don't know how to do this analogy, but there's some people that will be like worse off in the future and then the people they helped will be better off and they won't give two cares about them. If you think about it, it's gonna happen eventually. I want to make 2016 the year of me, as in I focus on me and work on me and I'm gonna be okay with that. Not always gonna be okay with that. I'm gonna mess up. Obviously, I can't shut people up together, but all together. The more time I spend focusing on myself, there's more that I find out about myself. And high school is supposed to be those four years where you find out who you are before you go off and live as an adult so you can maintain who you are instead of finding something out about yourself when you're 50 and it's too late to change or whatever. I found out some things about myself. My friends found out some things about themselves. We found out things about each other. And in the long run, we're gonna... Everyone's gonna be okay in the long run, but it's better to make sure you're okay now than in the future when you think it's too late and things go down the way they shouldn't. That got pretty deep. Um, that's it for this year's video. Oh my god, it's my last video of the year. But yeah, um, if you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more of me and my videos next year, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, Ali Rar, slash It's Rar. And go check out my new channel, Text Heavy Alley, which the first video is coming out this Saturday, January 2nd, 2016, at 12 p.m. Check out my social media, subscribe, um, comment down below your thoughts, your New Year's resolutions, and yeah. But until next year, bye! <laughs>